Welcome back gardeners. My name is Ellen Orabone and I work at Sustainable Food Center as the Grow Local Teaching Garden Coordinator. I am once again in our new teaching garden, which is, has been the site of our brand new series of food gardening classes called the Grow Local Classes in the Teaching Garden. Um, at these classes we offer participants of all levels a hands-on experience exploring a variety of food gardening topics. Uh, we offer you the opportunity to grow your gardening skills alongside local gardening experts and leave each class feeling more competent and confident as a gardener. Be sure to check out our website, sustainablefoodcenter.org, for a full calendar of all of our fall classes. Since we're prepping the garden for the fall planting season and for our plan for your fall garden class, this week's video topic is planting from seeds or from transplants. Uh, in our fall gardens class, we'll be discussing how to prepare your garden bed for the fall, as well as which uh, varieties and species of vegetables grow well in our region in the fall. Uh, once you determine, though, what you want to grow, you'll have to decide whether each plant wants to be planted from a seed or from a seedling, also known as a transplant. Uh, a lot of vegetables, such as root crops and vegetables that have tap roots, generally do not transplant well and should be directly seeded. Uh, a lot of the fall vegetables are included in that category, such as carrots, beets, lettuce, parsnips, peas, radishes, rutabagas, and turnips. Uh, even though most plants will grow from seeds, using a transplant will speed up the process by decreasing the number of days from planting to harvest. So many times it's difficult to plant certain fall crops from seed because they'll take months to grow and could be affected by the winter frosts. Uh, for that reason, we transplant some of our fall veggies and good ones to transplant includes all the brassica plants, so Brussels sprouts, broccoli, kale, cabbage, cauliflower, including chard, celery, onions, uh, and collards. If you plant from seed, there are three techniques that you can utilize. Broadcasting, row planting, or individual seed planting. Broadcasting is simply scattering seeds into a bed in an attempt to have as many seeds sprout. This is an especially popular method if you want to grow microgreens or sprouts. Row planting is great for root veggies that you can later thin out, or for seeds that are small and hard to count. Individual seed planting is best for larger seeds and plants such as peas and plants in the brassica family, like broccoli or cauliflower. Those plants will need to be spaced up to two feet apart if planted by seed. Be sure to read the seed packet for seed spacing and how many seeds to plant per hole. So when transplanting, you'll need to make sure you have a nice deep hole for that plant, which I've already dug. And you also have to complete a three-step watering process to ensure that you transplant correctly. So first, you'll need to water the transplants while they're in the pot still, which I've already done. They're nice and wet. Then you'll need to water this hole that you dug to make sure that soil is nice and moist. Um, and then once you've transplanted that plant into the hole, you'll need to water the whole plant all over again. Um, so in order to take this plant out of the pot, you'll need to carefully press the sides until that dirt kind of becomes loose. Then place your hands kind of gently around the base of it and flip it over and just slide that pot right on out. Now many of these pots will be pretty root bound like this, so you'll need to make sure that from the bottom you separate these roots out and try to get as much of that dirt and soil loose as possible. Uh, you don't want it to be in this square shape because then this plant will not grow into its new space. So just kind of shake all that out. Uh, once you have these bare roots, you can place the plant in the ground and fill in with that soil. And while you're doing this, be careful not to push down too hard around the roots because that's really going to compact your soil and limit the roots' growth. And there we go. Please join us for our Fall Gardens class on October 8th and learn all about how to plan for your fall garden, learn tips about companion planting, square foot gardening, and many other topics. I hope you'll join us.